When I tell, listen to me when I tell you that I was absolutely disgusted and disturbed, but not surprised when I listened to a commentary that Mr. Superboy, shout out to him by the way, did early this morning involving Amber Phillips. I can't even really put into words how I felt listening to her speak this bullshit that came out of her mouth. Now, before I really get into what she said, let me give you a bit of a backstory about this woman here. She is a self-proclaimed black feminist, and she is an extremely hard-leaning feminist. Like, she, you can tell that she likes no men. None. She probably doesn't even like other male species, meaning male dogs or male Ants, anything with the word male attached to it, she probably does not like. I remember when I got the first wind of her last year on Rolling Martin on News One. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't remember exactly what it was, but something just gave me a bad vibe about her, and I was like, okay, whatever. Hopefully, she doesn't come back. Then, come October of last year, when they were discussing the movie Birth of a Nation. And this individual right here spewed all kinds of rhetoric involving this movie. Uh, talk mostly about Nate Parker saying how people shouldn't support it because he's a rapist, even though he was acquitted by an all white jury and a white judge while going to a white school had a white person who accused him in a mostly white town. And he was acquitted of all the charges that were placed against him. And mind you, that was in 1999 when this allegedly happened. And all of this stuff came out right before his movie came out. It was a sabotage. And she was definitely one of the ones leading the charge. One of many, unfortunately. And Anjane Ellis, who was one of the actresses in the movie who played Nate, Nat Turner's mother in the film, came there and literally tried to set her straight. But Amber Phillips is one of those in the ear, out the other type of people where if something comes into her ear, it'll quickly go out the other. She does not t like to listen. She's hard-headed. And she loves to talk over people. She loves to have the last word. Me, the one OVZ, and Lisa Cabrera on my live stream actually talked briefly about her. This woman is extremely toxic, as Town Biz said, because he did a video about her as well. And she didn't even see the movie Birth of a Nation. And she just said it was a rape scene in there, and this, that, and the third. So it, it was a rape scene, but it didn't show the rape scene. It insinuated in a rape scene, so you didn't see anyone being raped. But she kept saying it was this, that, it was that. But she didn't even see the movie. <coughs> she just went off based off what other people heard and then she formulated an opinion in her head and then tried to throw it off as if it was fact. And I said to myself, after what happened with that incident right there, I would never watch that show again if she's on that panel. I would not, the episode, the episode could have been a good one. It could have been talking about a topic I wanted to hear about. I wouldn't want to have to listen to it because her opinion no longer matters to me on anything. Now let's fast forward to a couple days ago, which I also did not watch that episode either. I haven't watched News 1 in I don't know how long. Amber Phillips was on News 1 with Roland Martin recently. And a topic had came up about rape culture. And she blatantly said out of her mouth, and there's an audio that goes along with it. If you go to Mr. Superboy, you know what? As a matter of fact, I will leave a link to his video in my description. He has the audio attached to it, and you'll hear her say it. She blatantly said out of her mouth that all men, especially black men, have to accept accountability or responsibility involving rape culture or that all men at some point in their life has uh, se has sexually assaulted a woman. That is a very, 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 not only broad, but very dangerous statement to make. She literally sat there and generalized all men, but she said especially black men. That means it doesn't even matter if you are young or old, straight or gay or otherwise. At some point in your life, you have sexually assaulted or made very disparaging remarks in a sexual manner 
or gone all the way and raped a woman at least once in your life and that we all have to claim responsibility for rape culture. That is what the hell she said and she stood firmly on her square and even more firmly on her words. I thought I was already done with her before, but I know for a fact I wish I didn't even know this woman even existed. Now she is a waste of space, melanin, and sperm. She's one of those babies that the mother should have swallowed the night that she was conceived. And it clearly shows who she hangs around the most because every time I see a picture of her with a group, it's always a bunch of white women. That probably shows right there the type of woman she's into because I'm almost certain that she's a lesbian. I don't see what any man in his right state of mind would ever lay up with this thing. Yes, I called her a thing. She is extremely toxic and dangerous, not only to the black community, but to all mankind. To every facet of life with someone like her level of thinking. And I noticed also in Mr. Superboy's video, he inserted about Emily Linden. If y'all don't know who she is, I, sp I had talked about her maybe a couple weeks ago. She's the white woman that said that even if a man is falsely accused of rape, he still should accept responsibility, even though he didn't do it. Echo and play. She literally piggybacked off what she said and said that all men, especially black men, got to throw that in there, have to accept responsibility for rape culture. That they basically said the same exact thing. It was just worded differently. I wonder if they walk around in the same circles. I'm willing to bet that they do, and I'm willing to bet that they know each other very well. And I find that most feminists are lesbians. I'm not going to say every last one of them, but most of them are. I don't see many men who would have to, who would, would stand there and just accept the talking points of someone like Amber Phillips. Like she literally just accused you of being a rapist and accepting rape culture. Now it's amazing to me because I also put on Twitter today after I roasted her ass while roasting her ass. I tried to find her at name on Twitter, but I couldn't find it, so I just hashtagged it. That she would say that men, all men, especially black men, have to accept responsibility for rape culture. But she's not talking about the women who engage in rape culture, too. Let's not forget about all the female teachers who go around molesting young boys and in some cases get pregnant by those young boys, end up marrying them. And I'm talking about Mary Kay Letourneau. She set the tone. It was probably some before her, but she definitely set the tone. Wouldn't that be considered rape culture, Amber Phillips? No, it's because the person we're talking about has a vagina and not a dick. So it lets me know what she's on. She, <coughs> excuse me, she basically is saying that only men can be the one that can, um, a set responsibility for rape culture and never the women. Basically letting women off the hook to pretty much do whatever the hell they want, even though they know it's wrong. And if you look at those crime stats and look at, you know, those under the category of rape and sexual misconduct, it's mostly white men leading or white people leading in that category. So for her to come out and say, especially black men, lets you know that she does not like black men. I, I could smell that on her the first time I ever heard her talk. Now I'm going to echo something Town Biz said. He said that it's one thing that us as men are calling her out, but women need to call her out too. And if y'all don't call her out and y'all let her off the hook, you're basically in compliance with what she said. She literally is talking about your father, your male cousin, your brother, your uncle, your husband, your boyfriend, your fiance. All the people, all the men that I know in my life, my dad never raped anybody. My uncles never raped anybody. My male cousins that I'm close to never raped anybody. I never raped anybody. I never even thought of doing it. You got to be a sick individual to do that. So when she says that, 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 that's very disrespectful. That's like me saying all women, especially black women are whores. Even though I know that shit isn't true. That's a vast generalization that she made. 
and she thinks that it's true. She thinks she's speaking fact. She has no idea. She can't separate opinion from fact. She thinks her opinion is fact. She's a dirty, disgusting person. Thing, I should say. Because I don't see her as a human being. I don't see anyone who can make a blanket statement like that as human.